Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing XCOM 2 in a modded version. Legendary Iron Man, of course. We are in month number 3, I think. And it's going stony. Um, it's already month number 4, sorry. It's going pretty rocky. Uh, we are grinding missions over missions over missions, which is part of the Long War experience. You can either skip them and don't give a fuck, which is in many cases the intended way to go or you're playing it like Saiken style which is hitting the enemies hard in the face and continuing to do so but on the other hand uh, requires you to actually do a lot of missions so today we're going to look at operations fist gesture another smash and grab mission with a nice little what so let's jump right into the action alrighty we just landed and what could be better for a smash and grab mission than having a nice little team of well-equipped soldiers. It's not the A team, but we got a good team here. Okay, by the way, for those of you... I don't want to hear central. Uh, by the way, for those of you who were wondering about uh, kind of the uh, abrupt cuts in some of the last uh, videos, whenever a video goes far more than one and a half hours, and I don't recognize it during the game time. I took the liberty of splitting the um, the video data into multiple halves. That way, I'm not completely screwed in uh, the upload process. YouTube doesn't like ultra long videos, so the nature of the missions here oftentimes is that it takes. A long time. Uh, many of the larger missions take, yeah, four to five hours. And I'm trying to my best to also kind of watch the time that has elapsed. But in the heat of the battle, from time to time, I'm simply forgetting it, to be honest, and focusing more on actually winning the mission. As some of you have already noticed, it takes a huge toll on your concentration if you're playing for four hours straight. And I must say, um, a lot of the long war experience is also to take really regular breaks in between. Sometimes after like grinding through a four hour slug, I just feel exhausted. It, it's definitely, the length of the missions is, is definitely a problem. Anyways, I don't want to always complain about uh, the mod. It is a hell lot of fun, and I'm really, really enjoying myself at the moment. However, we also got to acknowledge what does not work super well, so that's why I'm bringing it up. We can't bypass them, at, lo at least not really well, although I shouldn't say that. might be able to shut it down. Yeah, 100% shutdown, which means we could go a little bit closer to the chests, and I think that's what we're going to do. Reason for this is pretty simple. As long as we haven't triggered anything, no timer will start. There we go. Nice little disable. Pew. And the drone goes down. By the way, since the lost loss seem to be no longer here, the dark events seem to have gone away. It's so much faster. Can you believe it? I mean, awesome, right? Anyways, uh, this drone will come a bit closer. Now, we don't want to remote start anything yet. As you order, Commander. But since we do have Ghost Walker active, might as well move all the way up here. Well, look at that. Got a nice little tower there. All right, moving closer. Don't want to trigger anything. Yeah, 
I think we're going to be fine over here. And Rectime moves over here as well. The moment that we're going to be discovered, we're going to put the zone down, evac zone. For now, I would say we're just leaving it as is. Next turn, we're going to start hunting the enemies down. Yeah, we're being spotted out, but that's okay. There we go. All right, let us call in the Sky Ranger here. Time for us to deal with the turret. Care of. Good. Next up. On my way. Moving in to mark the supplies. Our target should be, again, four crates, probably. We don't have armor penetrating rounds, so I'm not even going to try. Moving up to not lose any time. Good. The drone is down. Moving as ordered. No place for you to go now. Found ourselves a nice little group over there. Like the idea of remote start, unfortunately it doesn't work yet. Might as well position us here. We're not going to trigger anything. Moving in next turn, we can pick up the loot. And Wolverine here can be on Overwatch. Dragonova just stays where she is. Uh, I shouldn't have just overwatched. Okay, luckily we haven't been revealed. Well, I think, unfortunately, that still happened in our turn. Unfortunately, that still happened in our turn. Hmm. You know, it's a good, good enough time to uh, to use. Our teamwork here, plus a flashbang. I 
Either that or a big fat rocket, but it's too inaccurate. Fortifying ourselves. Can we hit both sides? Probably can't. Sometimes you're lucky and you'll find like that one spot which allows you to somehow throw it just on a corner. Not this time. I rather prevent a tongue grab and a poisoning instead of a mind control. There's the poisoning. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Metis 1 5. All right, we definitely can kill this Viper here. We're preparing a shrapnel to remove cover. And let's uh, wait before we do so. Let's make sure someone can hit the shrapnel. Moving over here. This hopefully will remove parts of the tree. Or in this case, the entire tree. percent chance to kill the sector which we're going to do which removes the mind control then again great option for a remote start targeting in running and gunning let's move over here that's a flanking position Fortifying our defenses. Target eliminated. Running dry. Okay, so if we were to move to here, we can not reach the target. We cannot reach the target, okay. 
So we would need to poison ourselves in order to get a chest. I don't think that that's a good deal. Taking some loot instead. I've got it. That's affirmative. Yeah, I think that's not a good deal. So we're instead moving here. I'm on it. And overwatching. We killed two drones, one tower, that's three, another three, which means there's one more pack left over. Okay, we're no longer poisoned, that's good. So far it's a flawless mission. Picking up some loot. And we're moving a little bit closer. Haven't spotted out another one. Okay, fair enough. Moving to designated coordinates. Let's get the few crates over here and then call it a day. Good. So as many of our soldiers that we can move to here, so we can try to get like two to three crates. We're still at only one crate. Which is a little bit low considering that we wanted to aim for four. Good. We're aggressively going to move forward. We do have the scout. Volk says I am to obey. I have sight beyond vision. All right, Dragonova. Spots out the last pack. A bit of a ghost walker here. Let's see, we can kill the Advent Officer. Of course, minimum damage. Fuck you. Ah, the Advent Officer of course survives. Too bad. Dragon over herself, does she have Silent Killer already? Sure, so yes, she does. She was to kill him. Ah, it's unfortunately only, only a 60% shot. Alright, Ragtime moves over here. Nice little flanking position. Target down. My ammo's running low. Okay. 
Okay. Good. We're moving in order to pick up crates. That's one. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. And we're essentially going to be shot once. Now we can leave the crate unmarked for now. We can start with it next turn. Moving up here, just in case if they move in closer, we can overwatch. Reinforcements are soon going to arrive. So instead of another overwatch, I would rather... Provide an aid protocol here to wreck time, giving him full cover. And Dragonova moves up here. That way we can take the crate next turn and be gone. Which means we're pretty much in the corridor of uh, four crates. All right. Let us try this here. Yes, I know that that is going to hit the crate. We're bringing home a lot of new uh, useful things. Don't worry, Bradford. Don't be such a Debbie Downer. Good, that's one more down. Moving, out. Moving Solar, aka Bob Ross in here. This means we can mark all of the other supply crates and start moving out. Perfect timing to take one more piece of loot, which by the way is more valuable than the crates, just for your info. Singer crate never is as valuable as the loot here. Good, and we're moving out. Headed 
there now. I'd rather have a mission with four crates and absolute flawless, so no more uh, wounds. Then a bit more crates, which is marginally more supplies and more soldiers that need time in the med bay. It's time to go. Go, go, go. Our biggest problem at the moment is we have too many soldiers in the med bay. So any type of flawless mission is very welcome. Good. Let's get out of here and out of here. And out of here. And absolutely out of here. Got it covered. And that mission here went pretty smooth. I mean, yeah, now reinforcements are coming in, but who cares? Perfect, everyone made it out, and we have another flawless mission. And a fast one, to be honest. Pretty good. Alright. Got two promotions. Which is even the icing on the cake. Alright, we already talked about uh, that the last time. By the way, in case you're wondering why I'm doing the same kind of uh, build or skills, to be honest, don't get too hung up on the, uh, on the build path here. Everything is viable. You can play whatever. Like, I could literally skill whatever as long as uh, the overall team makes sense. Uh, you can mix and match and have kind of creative uh, uh, ways of using it. For instance, uh, fireman, like a flamethrower um, uh, demolition is, isn't bad either. You can go that, uh, that route, specifically here, with a um, increased range and all of the upgrades. It's actually pretty nice. Um, the reason why I'm scaling pretty much exactly one -on one um, all of uh, all of them in a similar fashion is i want to make sure that they are interchangeable and that i don't need to always look at the details of how i skilled them in between my sessions since i don't have enough time often uh, oftentimes there are days if not weeks and yes you can have different variety uh, different uh, variances but I might end up putting together a team that doesn't make any sense. So for him, it's formidable. Um, we're going down uh, the route, uh, route of having more defense. One reason why we haven't lost the soldier yet is because we were playing pretty much defensively. And that's, in my perspective, the way to go. You might disagree on this one, but I think uh, the success of this team uh, speaks for itself. Got a nice little amount of supplies, some alloys, core and so on. Actually quite good.
and we got some bonds available okay officer school du -du 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 -du. I think the Reaper could use some officer training. Shinobi could use some officer training. We just need to make sure that we are using our training time also efficiently because we have been so intensively focused um, on solving missions we almost forgot about uh, mm, training everyone. And we have a lot of negative traits. We definitely need to get rid of uh, them sooner than later. If you look, one, two, three, four, five six negative traits and a lot of low willpower you need to get the willpower up elsewise the missions are just like uh, the supply rate that you've seen constant panic good we wanted to field another group i know that there is a supply drop available we're going to go there soon. I think we wanted to field another group onto one of the missions. Yeah, that was too close of a baseline. Couldn't field them. And that's almost infiltrated, so no, we're not. The only thing that we could think about is, since we have barely started here, that squad here was a pretty weird uh, combination. Let's see, do we have additional soldiers that we could send there? Because we haven't really started infiltrating yet doesn't hurt to to try it um, over again with a little bit of a better squad so we would have another gunner I guess we could uh, try to put her on the mission. Just a bit optimizing on the squads here. This mission certainly has enough um, time left over for us to abort the infiltration. Hmm. Before we do that, plenty of time, by the way, to do the mission. Let's do one mission at a time, okay? Good. We're taking Ranger. All right, fun fact. I ended up with the exact same team because if we were to position another person on here, it would just increase, um, or it would either cost us Intel or um, decrease it to less than 90%. 
which speaks uh, spe speaks vo volumes for how important it is that we're researching the technology for larger uh, spot infiltration six to seven because then we could easily take six people instead of five anyways same team we haven't lost anything I still don't like the team composition well that's a different story Good, we got another mission down here and we got a 97% um, destroy the alien relay infiltration. So as soon as we're done with that, we should be easily able to con um, to use whoever is left over in this mission to field the new mission. And by the way, we still need to build the radio relay here. Just realizing we have not spent enough time there. Good, and that's our next mission. Destroy an alien relay. Let's take a small peek. Shinobi, Ranger, Grenadier, Sharpshooter, Dual Shinobi. That's not a good team either. Boy oh boy. I'm happy once uh, these missions are slowing, uh, slowing down a bit because I gotta reshuffle the teams. This here is not a good team either, but it's okay. It, it'll do for this mission. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. You know the drill. Uh, leave a comment or a like. That will increase the YouTube popularity of the series. I absolutely enjoy and want to continue it. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.